This is the JRE Show, and today we're going to look at waypoints and how to use waypoints on the DJI Phantom. I've already used them once, so I'm pretty familiar with how they work. You basically just set them in the air. Uh, it's a little different than I thought it would be. I thought maybe you'd just kind of tap it out on the screen, but I guess that's not the case. Um, let me go ahead and turn on the quad. And you want to make sure that the transmitter is in the F mode, right there, F mode. And take a second here to warm up. And I'm already, this little icon up here, you touch it, and that's where the course lock, home lock, point of interest, follow me, and ways point. Uh, we're going to do ways point right now, and ways point, basically you plan out, you map the area that you want it to go. So, for instance, I'm out here kind of at a lake, and if we look around here, uh, there, you know, there's a lake. So I'm probably going to go somewhere from there to there to there to here and we'll try it out with different heights um, that way we can see now when you do this you don't want to necessarily if you're going between point A and point B now if there's a tree somewhere in the middle you, you, do, you don't necessarily want to go just straight from point A to point B you want to move then go up hit that point then go over hit that point then go down so uh, let's just take it off enough talk and um, we'll take off the quadcopter here and let me hit record. So it's recording now. I'm gonna bring it out right about there. And we'll hit the waypoints. New mission. And now it brings up this right here. Now we have a delete. And then we have a record. Let me kind of bring it right here. I know it's uh, lined up there. So we have the delete and the record. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the quadcopter around and set the uh, point. So the first point I'm going to want is we're going to have to go up because there's some trees right there, you see. So I'm going to want to go up quite a bit just so I clear all the trees around me. I don't want to take any chances or anything like that. So this can be my uh, first home point. So I'll go ahead, I'll hit record. Let me show you here. I'll hit record just like that. And you can see there on the map now that I have a number one that just popped up. So that is my first uh, point that it will go to. So the next one, we'll go ahead and I'll just uh, fly, let's say over here. right there looks good and let me uh, move the camera down here I'm not sure if this works with the camera to where if I move the camera right here and set the point if it will actually move the camera and set the point so I guess we're kind of checking that out here so at this point I'm gonna hit record so there's my point two and I'm gonna go back up and my point three will be, we'll go right above those docks right there. So let me show you here. I'm going over to the docks. And I will hit record. And now I'm gonna go back to right here, right above me. And I hit record. So I got four different points there. And uh, let's do one to where I'm gonna go straight up from here once it gets to the fourth point, and then we'll add the fifth point right here. So I'll hit record. Okay, it's saying the waypoint is too close. So even though I went up in height, I still need to go out just a little bit more. So that will be, let's go ahead and record there. So now I can hit done. And what's going to tell me to do is going to fly the aircraft to the starting point, distance uh, 101 feet, and let's see, head to constant with record, flight mission complete hover. So at the end, it's saying we're going to hover. Um, so now what I need to do is bring the quad 
to the starting point. And if we look here on the map, look, I can go straight till I get to the number one, or as close as I can get to the number one here. And then I'm gonna hit apply. And then return to home altitude, uh, current altitude 71 meters, aircraft will return to home point if low battery. And yeah, that's that, so I hit apply and it says uploading waypoints and it just uh, takes off. So, um, let's see here. The mission will continue even if the RC signal is lost. So we're dropping elevation right now. And if you see up there, it just uh, took off. And we have a speed here. So I can control the speed. I wanna go a little further up with the speed. And down here you can see the actual points that it's hitting. Now remember here on two, I wanted the camera to look down. And it doesn't appear that the camera is gonna look down. So this must not control the camera, which is, uh, I suppose it's okay. I mean, most of the time you're probably gonna wanna be looking down anyway. But there we go, we're on waypoint three. There's waypoint four. You can see it right above me. I'm, you probably might not be able to with the sun glaring so much. But it's right above me right here. I believe five's right there under six. And, or it might be resting on six right now. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's stopped right there. So that must be the end of the uh, waypoints. I believe yeah because it's holding right there just 102 feet so yeah we're sitting at six right there so it's hovering now right above me and I'll just go ahead and hit exit because I want the aircraft to hover and there it is so now I'm controlling it manually go ahead and bring it down here And that's waypoints. So I can actually save it in here. Uh, if I wanted to come out to the same area that I was at and run the same course, which is nice. I mean, I'm sure there's tons of uses that you could think of, uh, you know, for basically just monitoring land and things like that. But there we go. That is waypoints for the Phantom 3 Professional. Thanks for watching.